Hello everyone. So today I'm going to teach you something that I learned at one of the preschools that I worked at. It's called zoo phonics. So it's basically a way to teach the sounds of the letters and incorporating it with a body movement. So it's fun, but they're also learning and it's a way to get your body fully involved with the learning and not just sitting and listening to someone say, this is the letter A and the sound that it makes. So, um, I'm going to start with A. All right, so A. This is what the letter A looks like. This is the uppercase and the lowercase letter. So A is Allie the alligator, and you're going to get your big alligator arms out, and you're going to go ah, ah, ah. And this is B. B goes like this. Bubba the bear reaches for his honey, and he says buh, buh. B. This is C for a Katina cat, c -c cat, and she goes k, k, k. And this is D for a Dee Dee deer. You're gonna take your two fingers and go d, d, d. And this is E for Ellie elephant, and she uses her trunk to feed things into her mouth, and she goes. Eh, eh, eh. This is Francine fish. You're going to take one hand like this and put one hand on top. Take out your thumbs. And just move your thumbs. You don't have to move this part, just the thumbs. And you go like that. G is Gordy Gorilla. And he goes G, G, G. And this is Honey the horse. You're going to go like this, and then you slap your knees, and you go, ha, ha, ha. And this is I for any the inchworm. And he's so cute. You take out your pointy finger, and you go, eh, eh, eh. And this is J for Jerry jellyfish. And he goes, ja, ja, ja. And K for K.O. Kangaroo. And she goes, ka, ka, ka. She's a boxing kangaroo. <laughs> and this is L for Lizzie Lizard. You can take your hands and put it under your chin and go, ooh, ooh, ooh. And M for Missy Mouse. And she loves to eat her cheese. And she goes, mmm, mmm. Mmm. And then N is for Nigel Night Owl. And he goes, Mmm. 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 Like that. O is for Ollie the Octopus. And he goes, Ah. 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 P for Pee Wee Penguin. And this is a little tricky to explain, but I think you guys can get it is you're gonna straighten your arms, but your arms are gonna be straightened and then flexed at the end. And you're gonna go puh, puh, puh. Quee, oh, quee, <laughs> Q for Queenie Quail. And she goes qua, qua, qua. R for Robbie Rabbit. And he goes err, err, err. S. For Sammy the snake, and he goes. That's one of my favorites. I love that one. T for Timothy Tiger, and I love this one too. He goes. T, T, T. U is for Umber the umbrella bird, and she holds her umbrella and she flaps her wings and she goes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. V is Vincent Vampire Bat, and I love this one too. You take your two V's like this, and then you flip them upside down, and you make vampire teeth, and you go, vroom, 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 like that. W is for Willie the Weasel. This is another fun one. It's a little hard to explain, but first your one hand is going to go up, and one hand 
down, and then you're going to switch it to the other side. And now this side's up, and this side's down, and then you're going to swing them both up all the way up to the other side, and then repeat it again. So you're basically doing the wave like that. So Willie the Weasel, if you do it really quickly, it goes wah, wah, wah. That's a fun one, huh? I love that one. I think that's my ultimate favorite. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. X is for Xavier the Fox. And you're going to take your hands like this and go X, 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 like that. So it just switches like that. X, 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 like that. Y is for Yancey the Yak. And he likes to talk on the phone. That yak, yakety yak, like this. So this is your pretend telephone. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is Z for Zeke the zebra. And he is so tired at the end of the day doing his zoophonics. And he goes, zzz, zzz, zzz. And that is, that's it. That's the end. And I also incorporated some links to more information about Zephonics. There's a whole learning program about this. It's called um, Zephonics, of course, and it's basically a multi-sensory language arts program that um, there's more to it, there's more resources, and there's kits and things to go with this um, learning. And let me know what you think. I love doing these, and so do the kids that I teach. So I will see you guys later. All right. Bye.